Hello everyone and welcome back to Sekiro. This is episode 14. Last time we spoke to the Divine Child, acquired the Mortal Blade, and discovered some lovely secrets around Senpo Temple about how to finally get across uh, the valley. Uh, and then most recently, we have found our way in the in the sunken valley uh, close to the gun fort and I wanted to start this episode off with an observation that I picked up uh, right as I finished recording my last episode and it's so cool something uh, it's just like a neat little detail something that I had uh, noticed but not really acknowledged is like when you enter a dark space obviously the lighting changes um, and there's like a sound effect that happens and you can Obviously, you can see better in the dark. There's no torch or whatever that's like needed. Like you are your own light source. And I and I was like um, about to, you know, close down the game and everything like that. And I was just like messing around with the camera. And I saw our dude's face was like super messy, <laughs> super messy with blood from combat previously. And I noticed something about his eyes, and I just think it's so cool. So this is his eyes right now. And then if we go down here. We have like that sound effect take place and now it's like different different lighting. Look at his eyes. Wait a minute. Look at his eyes. How cool is that? Man's got his man's got his wolf eyes. I don't I don't know if wolves have enhanced dark vision. Owls do. His father was the owl. But they look like the, his eyes go like cat like because he's got like the thin pupils. So there's a, there's a whole mixture of things going on here. <laughs> but I just think that's so cool that it's like it's a detail that the player is not uh, like gonna notice straight away as most of the time the character's face is turned away from the player. But I just think it's neat that if you actually do look, there is the effort of doing that to the to the character model, and I just think that is absolutely amazing uh and this is where we were last episode we're chilling out at the the gun fort uh sculptor's idol where before we push through there is the matter of giving emma our seed once again because <laughs> you just gotta keep going we're at uh another round of giving emma uh, our, our seed. <gasps> Kuro has changed positions. He's in here as well, instead of being in the library. Interesting. So let's give you a seed. So we should have eight heals now. Uh, what have you got to say now that you're here? Nothing. Okay. Nothing new? But you've uh, you've finished your study. That's really cool that he like just kind of like moves around the area. I I love that. Uh, so should have a total of eight uses now of our uh, of our um, healing gourd. Let's go to the gun fort. So I believe this is probably where we'll be using our like shrine key. If I have a look. Here, the Gunfort Shrine Key. So it's a shrine deep within the Gunfort. The gate behind the shrine's idol is made to be opened. Okay. What is what is this creature here? Oh, <laughs> when you use the Nightjar Monocular in darkness, uh, you lose your vision. Okay, Wolf Eyes deactivated. That's uh, that's actually a bit of a weird thing, but that's fine. I'm trying to get a closer look at this thing. What is that? It looks like it's got a normal... It looks like it's got like a humanoid mouth, a massive nose, but giant horns. What is that? Strange. Let's push in. Push into the gun fort. Oh no. Okay. We know what to do now. We know how to handle 
these centipedes. We we know the method. Oh my god, it's an actual f boss fight too. Long arm centipede giraffe. I know the method to your madness, sir. Ah, uh, that last one is the one that I keep missing the timing for. Panicking. Don't, ah, uh, don't start doing this shit. Hold on a minute. Fuck me, dude. It's that last one. It's that, uh, it's that last swipe. Drink your juice. <laughs> He's fucking so crazy looking. Fuck you. <laughs> hey guys, remember the centipede? Remember the centipede from Senpo Temple? Remember the centipede? It, it ain't shit. That's what I'm telling you now. A large fan. Oh, it's a prosthetic tool. A large fan made of dyed red Japanese areola leaves. Aralia? Aralia. Aralia leaves can be fit to the shinobi prosthetic to become a prosthetic tool. Fanning it creates a large vortex of wind, spiriting away! Spiriting away those it captures! Divine abdication through an eight-handed fan. Once is fine, but twice and you'll never return. If abducted, head, we'll head to Mount Congo. A senpai temple will perform virtuous deeds. We need to spirit away He's asked us to spirit him away, remember? Once is fine, but twice, and you'll never return. If abducted, we'll head to Mount Congo. At Senpo Temple, we'll perform virtuous deeds. Dude, we need to go back to Senpo Temple. Da -da -da. Um, oh, and we've got four prayer beads. It's time to enhance our uh, physical attributes. Fourth prayer necklace. Only those who have mastered the Ashina blade may step foot inside the castle dojo. Ashin will often stop by unannounced just to keep the students on their toes. Yo, maximum vitality and posture increased. Ah, I need to go... Sorry, I need to go to the sculptor first so he can fit the prosthetic to us. I don't want to get too excited. Don't want to get too excited. God, interacting with NPCs and doing like their like quest lines or like doing stuff for them feels so much better in this game than it did in Bloodborne. Bloodborne was absolutely crazy obscure. Like, insanely so. Uh, that this, like, it feels so nice to actually get these interactions and dialogue and stuff happening with, with characters again. Bloodborne, I was just like, you have to do what now to make that happen? What? How does that work? Oh but okay. Sir. Fit me a new prosthetic tool, please. Divine abduction. I read it as abdication, I don't know why, the first time. Divine abduction. Gathering Vortex. Use the fan of leaves to wrap yourself in whirling winds while using Gathering Vortex. Release the winds around the enemy, making them suddenly face the opposite direction. Aside from certain strong enemies, they will lose sight of you and be vulnerable to a death blow. Cool, huh? Um, and now it should be... Right here. It is a mild sort of being spirited away that can be returned from quite quickly. However, it's said that one can only return from being spirited away once, and if taken again, there is no coming back. Should we... <laughs> I'm actually like... 
I'm, I'm a bit like cautious. I was about to just say, shall we go and practice this with Hanbei? But I was like, what if I spirit him away and it's actually like in the literal sense, he just ends up disappearing. Like I'm a bit, I think I might be taking it a bit too seriously, but I'm like, especially cause I'm, we're dealing with a character that is asking to be spirited away. Wee. All right, let's talk to you. Yeah, we can accept now. We can accept. There you go. I mean, we have we have to find out what happens. Otherwise, he's just. Otherwise, he's just sitting here. Wakato. Oh, arigato, arigato na. Yoshi. Sukoshi kowai kedo mo. Sore ja. What does that what does that mean? What is where is he? <laughs> where is he? You can you can only return from being spirited away once. But also so it mentions something in like the in the note at the beginning uh, of them being here or like heading here for virtuous deeds or something. Also, it looks like... Huh. So there's now nobody controlling the uh, the kite anymore. I was wondering if they'd still be, like, puppeted holding it up there, but no. Um... I mean, there's no way that it would just, like, abruptly come to an end like that, right? Has he been spirited away somewhere? Oh! Maybe... Maybe, hold on. Maybe. Oh, there's a whole... Oh, there's a fucking stairway up here. Hold on. There's a pathway here. Where? What is this? God, I didn't... God, the things I miss. There's an undying enemy in there. Right, hold on. We won't go in there yet. God, why didn't I... I totally missed that. This is why I love returning to previous areas, because it's like... I've been granted eyes, you know? Um, because I was thinking about this place, because, um... This, this, by, this guy was like, you know, he was separated from other people. Uh, there were other children, and there were other children here that have been laid to rest. So I'm like, maybe he was spirited away here. Aha, this time the rice grew well. Nice, I got some rice, because obviously we gave it to the... To the uh, to the old woman. Rice is very precious. Nice. I wonder if we can give more rice to the uh, to the old woman then. Fuck! I came here looking to see if he would be if that guy would be here, but he's not. But instead, uh, pathway. Where's this? Oh, this is the. Oh. Huh. No, thank you. This is the main... Yeah. Fuck, that's what that... Hmm. Wow. So, 
I had assumed this whole time, which is why we just didn't really pay it any mind, is that this door would just go outside. It's like it's in its own little pocket... pocket universe, you know? On the outside over here. That's... crazy. Okay, well we found a shortcut to... to this place, and I can now kill all of these... Uh, I can now kill all these enemies. If I want... Oh god! And maybe not. Maybe I'll just die. Maybe I'll just die. Okay. I forget how fucking annoying these enemies are, dude. Also, the fact that I don't even really know how to attack them. <laughs> I don't even really know what the deal is. Trying. Trying to get those deflects. <gasps> okay, so one below and then. Mortal Blade! Now, is it just a lump of fat wax? Oh, nothing. Only money. Okay, I was like. judging to see if it would actually be worth taking out these enemies or not. It's fine. Save the mortal blade for the enemies that actually need it. Um, cool. In this case, I might take this opportunity because I was thinking. Um, hmm. Where did? I wonder where he's gone. Maybe he's actually just gone. Hmm. We've spirited, spirited him away, and he's just... and that's it. He's gone. I wonder if he's around Senpo Temple somewhere. Not sure. But I mean, as soon as I got that Shinobi tool, I was like, holy fuck. That's literally something that we've been looking for for a, quite a time. Love that just like the rematch with the centipede is just so funny at this point because it's just like, oh, <laughs> I know what's up. Ah, uh, and this is where we use the shrine key. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is the bridge. Yep, it's the Sunken Valley Passage. Yep, that's the fucking piece of wood up there. All right, so we will find fresh fruit around this way then. We didn't even need to really cross the across the valley at Senpo Temple to get the fruit then, but we did to help Black Hat Badger out. There you go, we're on the other side. So I assume... Ooh. I assume that's a way for us to... Um, I don't know. Lost my train of thought. Not important. <laughs> Sorry, I just literally stopped myself mid-sentence to be like, I don't even know what point I'm trying to make here. But... <gasps> I knew we weren't done. I knew we weren't done with him. It. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to tell the gender of a snake. Uh, fuck. It's chilling at the moment, though. Alright, we can get down there, but I don't know how we can get back up. There's an item. Ooh, this is spooky. Okay. Let's just be careful. You motherfucker. What the fuck? Oh no, dude. Block the snake. <laughs> was... <laughs> you can block the snake. Oh! Dude, can I parry the snake though? Oh, it missed. Okay, am I screwed? Dude, you can fucking parry the snake. There's no health bar though, so I'd. Uh. This is unbelievable that I can parry this fucking snake right now. This is fucking ridiculous. Um, it's got no health bar. But it's got... It's missing an eyeball, that's for sure. 
Oh no, dude. This is... I'm screwed. <gasps> oh my god. This snake is back with a vengeance, man. It is not happy. This is the coolest thing. This is actually so cool. Fucking being able to deflect. What is... Dude. The being able to lock onto fish makes it so distracting because I'm trying to see if we can lock onto. Wow. How's your eye? You can't see on this side because of your eye. Wow. Monkey skull. Look at that. I'm just in awe of this. That's so cool, man. <gasps> and you're gone! How the fuck? How the fuck does this snake move like this? That snake is like the flash. So many, I love how, how many like times there was just snake skin around and I'm like, okay, we're not done with this. Oh God. Okay. So hang on a minute. There's fish. That's like, it's posture though. Like, There's fish that's up above that attacks us instantly, and then there's other fish, like, below that just don't surface? Like, what's the deal with that? It's just, like, a lock-on distraction. Like, look at this. Like, what's going on here? There you go. Like, it's aware of me. And then it just fucking... <gasps> that's a treasure cup. Because it's... Oh, it's gone! That was a treasure cup! What the fuck? So that other one must have been a treasure carp as well. So this is a treasure carp. How do I? We have to get be able to. We have to be able to get underwater somehow. Because this is the second time we've been in a body of water, and there was a there was like a mini boss health bar that we accidentally locked onto, because it had a death blow thing ab above it. I thought that was a glitch. We have to be able to go underwater somehow. Maybe that'll come later. Fucking hell. Snake was just chilling and was just like, Oh, you've returned! You've come for my other eye, have you? So cool, man. <laughs> Alright, let's push in. I love this game so much. I, I'm so glad that it's like, instead of them doing um, the path of like, you know, having it like be based on like Japanese like mythology and stuff like that. But I'm, I'm glad that it's like that instead of it being like, like this is like fully realistic, um, only dealing with like uh, very grounded elements sort of thing. Like I genuinely love that this is like, um, it's much more than that. They're like, no, you giant snake and you are, you can, you can block its bite and, you know, monkeys that, uh, get trapped inside a folding screen in an illusory realm. And we've got to sever the ties to immortality, uh, by ascending to the divine realm. Like there's just like so many cool elements to this game that I'm just so glad are included because I'm, I believe um, this is another game that I'm really excited to get to, uh, to play Ghost of Toshima. I'm pretty sure that game is more grounded in reality. Um, so it'll be, it'll be really fun to play, like, both of those to still get, like, this, uh, this aesthetic, this culture, this mythology that I love so, so much. Um, but with two different developers in two different, like, 
two different approaches. I'm very excited to do to do Ghost of Tsushima. But this is this is something. This is something else, man. Like <laughs> Man, we really got up to the top super quick, apparently. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah, so I, I really love that there's like a blend of like realistic Ooh. Oh monkey with sword Right through the right through the face. Monkey with a sword and a helmet! What the fuck? <laughs> they gave them weapons! They gave the monkeys weapons. And then they've uh and then they've regretted it ever since. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, lost my tra train of thought there, got surprised by weaponized monkey. Um, yeah, I love that there's been a nice blend of, like, um, grounded elements and these really good fights against, like, human characters, which has been, like, my favorite thing. Like, if you followed along with my previous Souls playthrough, every time I fight against a humanoid character, you just know that it's going to be one of my favorite fights. Especially when they just pull out these amazing, amazing things. Um, and techniques and all that kind of stuff. So, so cool. But I love that there's a really good blend of that with also, like, creatures and stuff. So, I'm um, very excited to see how that's going to go. Like, one thing in Bloodborne that I wanted a lot more of was fights that were like Father Gascoigne. Like, I would... Like, that was that's one of my favorite fights of that game. And it's, like, the f first... It, it could potentially, depending on how you progress, it was for me, it was my first boss, but it's supposed to be the second boss <laughs> of that game. Um, and it's definitely one of my favorites. Uh, we have an item down there. Uh, I think we're about to fight off against weaponized monkeys. Who the fuck gave monkeys swords, man? Who thought that was a good idea? Look at them go. Look at these statues, beautiful. This is... This is gorgeous! Oh no, you're not gonna shoot me. Who gave monkeys guns? Who the fuck... Who did this? Who did this? Oh! You don't have one. Bet you're regretting that, aren't you? <laughs> this is the society we live in, guys. This is what you voted for. Monkeys with swords. I'm shocked. Mm. When you just try and jump across the, the cliff and it doesn't work, probably should have just done it this way, that would have been nice. Please don't shoot me, sir. I am but a humble explorer. Pacifying agent. You prepping me to get terrorized? God damn it. Oh, how did that... I was hoping that would be an air assassination. Look at they got the guns, bro! <laughs> Me talking about, like, oh, I'm glad that it's not, like, a grounded, realistic... Uh, <laughs> I'm glad it's not, like, super grounded and realistic, and they do have, like, these very interesting, like, fan fantasy elements. Monkeys with swords. Thank you. Thank you, Sekiro. How do I get up there to that dude? Oh, what the fuck is this? Oh. Oh, you're the guys who gave the monkeys weapons. I should have known. Oh, Ishimonji, get fucked. This valley is so beautiful. <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh, fuck. I fucked up. Where am I? <laughs> uh... Hmm. I'm accidentally down here. Where the fuck's this? Oh god. 
There's an enemy down there, just went into the water. Where am I? Oh wow. Huh. Um Can I come can I can I come back up please? Fuck. Oh no, Miyazaki, you motherfucker! <laughs> For fuck's sake! You can't escape it, can you? Can this man make a fucking game without a poison swamp? Fuck. It's also slowed movement as well. You did both, man. Fucking hell. Can't wait for the Elden Ring Poison Swamp. This was the game that could have broken the cycle, man. This was the game that could have broken the cycle. Any game that has a poison status effect, you gotta have a poison swamp. Yeah. At least it's got cool traversal through it. Oh wow. Oh! <gasps> Whoa! Excuse me. It's over, bro. <laughs> okay, dude. Cow. Ooh, memorial mob. Sup? It's been a while, dude. You just chill in with your little like assortment of bones. That's that's great. That's fun. This goes mask on because it probably is fucking poisonous as fuck down here. Probably it's probably poisonous down here, guys. <laughs> Toxic memorial mob. Green messy gourd, a curved moss covered gourd filled with medicinal water, refills upon rest. While it does not heal poison status, it rejo reduces poison buildup and increases resistance. This gourd was made out of necessity by those that have that made poisonous lands their home. It's said if you live there long enough, eventually the poison won't affect you at all. Natural immunity. <laughs> and we have some heavy coin purses. I will purchase two of these, please, because I'm not looking to buy that right now. I probably shouldn't have even bought that rice gourd, to be, to be honest with you. I don't think that it's going to really serve me. Watch me just never use it, honestly. Like, look at this fucking thing, where is it? I don't even think you can sell it. Ooh, we finally got an adamant, uh, adamantite scrap. Adamantite can only be mined in the oldest parts of Ashina. Ancient rock and soil is said to attract the grace of gods, perhaps lending this metal its supple strength. <sighs> don't go into that cave up ahead. <laughs> Heavy 
蛇神様に飲まれちまったら。No, but I can get married. I can, I can get married, and that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mate. Oh, so. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to come down here yet. That's my problem. Is we're now just fucking we're chilling, and I was supposed to be up there still. Uh, being surprised by monkeys with swords, and now we're down here, apparently, where the cave of the serpent god is, and he was- he chills in a poison, uh, swamp. Because why not? I mean, if you don't want guests, protect yourself with, uh, yeah, protect yourself with sword-wielding monkeys and poison lands. Like, crazy. Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome. Oh no, it's another one of you. No, yep, hold on. I just gotta deal with this guy first. I'll deal with you guys in a sec. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, there's another one with a gun. You've got poison claws. Fuck off. Poison claws, man. Uh, where's the other one with the gun? You're in the poison. Why? Ah! Oh! Fuck you, monkey! Alright, hold on. Face me up here. Give me a sec. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. Now let's fight. Properly. You and me. You coming up or what? Monkey can't jump? What? Monkey can't jump? Monkey can't jump. Monkey only has the ability to walk. You're a pretty shit monkey. I didn't mean to use Ichimonji. That's the problem is like there's no like command cancel. How did you turn around like that? There's no command cancel so as soon as I accidentally activate Ichimonji by like I'm like holding down like, holding down LB when I press RB when I'm not meaning to. It's over. Sorry, we've got like more than enough. Ooh! Fulminated Mercury. We've got more than enough poison heals to really not have to worry about getting poisoned. Highly precarious, highly precious, sorry, grains forming the base for a devastating form of gunpowder. Use an explosive prosthetic tools upgrades of an advanced rank. Created in secret by the Interior Ministry. The Interior Ministry, using knowledge from across southern seas, the Central Force's military might owes much this tiny tweak of chemistry. Interesting. Just a bunch of stuff to pick up in this area as I furiously jump through the whole place. A balloon of soul. We've picked up a Balloon of Soul before, right? Yes. Okay, so... There's a tree branch up there... And then we did... You know. I'm trying to wonder if I can get back up. Yeah, it looks like we can get back up. But then at the same time, apparently... There's a fucking serpent cave. 
that I was not prepared for. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna try and go back here because we haven't explored this side of Poison Swamp. I don't think, unless no, we did, we did, we did. Um, I'm just getting lost. Hold on. Let's try and get out of here. And then we'll come back down here now that we actually know that there's a... I love the traversal of this game, dude. Just being able to just... All the way up. So cool. Oh! Fuck you. <laughs> if only you had more situational awareness, bud. There's another one up there. Imagine getting surprised by me, huh? Yeah! Should have been paying attention. Alright, this is better. Now we can go back. Alright, we're back up. <laughs> we can finally take out this dude. Thought you would thought you were done with me, huh? Um Am I interrupting anything, guys? This fucking depth of field thing, I swear to god. I just want to look at a, f a group of monks. Group of monkeys. And I can't. Um, fuck. Hold on a minute, can I...? Can we go around, please? I love that I just narrowly avoided this whole group of monkeys, because we've already been up here, we're doing all of this, then we fell down. Just narrowly avoided this. Let me see. I've got no... I've only got pellets, dude, so... <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And here you see a group of monkeys hanging out in mating season. However, there are no females around the area. Here you will see a bunch of lonely male monkeys that have resorted to using weaponry to cure their boredom as there are no bitches. <laughs> the monkeys are struggling to get women because they're too busy picking up sticks, throwing it around and going, look at my big stick. Also, the amount of times that they threw shit at each other is probably also slightly concerning. You have to forgive me, I've pulled out my headphones from the microphone. I'm just trying to just trying to get it in, you know? Because I can't hear anything. Technical difficulties. I apologize. That's the problem of having headphones plugged into your microphone. Oh, there's more up here. How the hell am I gonna take out this whole group of monkeys? I'm assessing my environment before we take the killing blow. We just get them all by get them all by surprise. I've got resurrective power. Oh, you know what? There's a whole group involved. You know what would be fun? Get the old firecracker. Oh, you could just spirit them all away. <laughs> Curious. I actually wonder if this will work. Oh, we've also got the spring load axe ability to be, uh, to be able to spin around. To just do whirling strike. Alright, hang on. What if we can just spirit them all away, dude? I'm just really trying to figure out the best way to approach this. No, you ruined my fucking move, you fucking monkeys. Okay, fuck you. I had a cool I had a cool plan, guys. You ruined it. <laughs> there was like what the fuck? Hmm. 
Oh, for fuck's sake! Like, I'm trying... <laughs> when you're just trying to kill monkeys, but they're too busy going 15 frames a second, so they don't care. I feel like a mass monkey murderer right now. They're barely even attacking me. This feels cruel now. This is like just an insane act of animal cruelty. Fight back, please, so I don't feel so bad. <laughs> Alright, they're trying to barely flop on me. Oh, I can fuck with that. I can work with that. Now it's an act of self-defense. Think twice before belly flopping me again, son. Even when there's, like... Even when most of them are dead, they're all still moving like a fucking PlayStation 1 game. Like, what the fuck? The 15 FPS monkeys with... with... <gasps> More monkey boos! Yes. Uh, so we've uh, <laughs> we've defeated the folding screen monkeys. Now we've defeated the fifteen frames per second monkeys. That's good. Ooh. What does this mean? This wrapped around this tree. God, this is so this is so chaotic. I need to focus up. Um, ooh! Oh, hello. What is over there? You're a bit large, aren't you? Just a bit? Um, okay. Well, to be expected, if you end up in an area with monkey enemies, or just any type of enemies, it shouldn't be a surprise that you'll soon have to face a giant version of said enemy. Oh god, how do I... Let me up. Alright, there's a sculptor's idol there, so... Idiot. <laughs> Fuck. I missed the jump. How do I get there? God damn it. I was really hoping to do like some cool move with the fan where I was going to just jump in, spin around, and then they'd all just disappear like a magic trick. <laughs> just poof, and they're gone. But no, it got ruined. By the, also by the fact that it actually didn't work. <laughs> Which is a shame. Alright, let's get across this place. Oh no! <laughs> I missed. <sighs> I'll I'll get out of here one one of these days. One of these days. So we've got a choice: we either face off against an enlarged monkey, or we go to the uh, the serpent god's house. Why can't we just be friends with the snake? Why did he have to attack us and have him remove his eye? Just had to make sure that we got his big boss cosplay nice and perfect. Okay. Oh, we're walking on the rope? Yes. <laughs> so cool. Oh, it's another one of the... Okay, are you the same one? Oh, the fruits of the serpent time. Oh, so she's also asking for rice. I'll, I'll, I'll be okay right now. Hmm. Okay. So the fruit, we, we're getting pointed in the direction of the fruit. For a second I was like, oh, this big monkey's gonna have the fruit. Turns out, we have to go down the other way. Alright, we've got our sculptor's idol. Uh, we're in the the Bodhis Bodhisattva? Bodhisattva. Bodhisattva Valley. 
butchering that pronunciation. Wow. Okay, well, while we're at the Sculptor's Idol, we may as well do whatever this is. Let me put my cool stuff back on. Um. Ooh. Monkey, do monkeys count as beast type enemies? We'll put the firecracker on. Um, let me get this item. Whee. Balloon of soul. Alright, so we can go back down there. Okay. Now, let's scan our environment. We have trees that we can... Multiple trees that we can do grappling on. And monkey. Big monkey. They're gonna sneak up on big monkey. Oh, you can't sneak up on big monkey. Hello? Oh, fuck. Guardian ape. Ooh, only one death blow. Get fucked. Oh god. Oh, he's got a fucking sword in his head already! Someone's already death blowed him once, that's why... <laughs> oh my fucking god. Someone's already death blowed him once. Wow, you can use the sword handle to grapple. Whoa. Uh, my posture is fucked against this dude. Uh, he's destroying my grapple opportunities. Whoa. I just grappled through a tree. Wow, look at that whole fucking run that I can do. Whee! Yeah, that's... Are you throwing shit at me, sir? I can't even see you. Can I lock onto him while I'm doing this? I can't. There we go. I can grapple onto him now. I mean, lock onto him. Oh my god, man. How the fuck am I supposed to deal with this? <laughs> Stab him in the butt! Did he just fucking fart on me?! He just farted on me and threw shit at me! And he poisoned me! Oh my god. <laughs> he just fucking farted on me! Oh my god. Prepare to get firecracked. He, he's uh, fighting dirty in the literal sense. You're such a dirty fighter! Ha <laughs> ha! Get firecracker, bitch. What the fuck? Wow. Oh no. I'm I'm just too busy. I'm uh, I don't know his attacks yet, so I'm just kinda spamming. Uh, the block button, and that's getting me nowhere good. Don't fart on me, bitch. We got it? We got the death blow? Death blow? Death blow? Death blow? Get here, you fucking monkey bitch! 
Yes! Fuck you! Here's another sword. Right in the eye! Dude! The fucking beheading! Holy shit! Whoa! He just, he just picked up, he just picked up his head. He just picked up his head. He just picked up his head. He's gonna fight with his head. What does that even mean? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, Terra, no! Dude, what the fuck? Pause, pause, pause. I wasn't even able to take in the victory because it's not even a victory. Shinobi execution. Okay, excuse me. How? What the fuck? What the fuck? What in the fucking world, dude? Oh my god, do we need to kill it with the mortal blade? Is it an undying enemy? Do we need to do a mortal blade death blow? I'm gonna... Oh, I don't even know how it fights, so I don't know if I should... Alright, I'm not gonna mess with my combat art. I need a pacifying agent. We still have healing. Holy shit, man. Um, poison blade is probably not even gonna be worth anything. Uh, makes me wonder if anything's gonna... Oh, hang on. Um, hmm, I wonder if fire... Alright, we're gonna keep using the firecracker. Holy shit, man. What the fuck? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, sh... Uh... I'm gonna get killed. I'm gonna die. Oh no, we're good. We're good. Okay. I I just I'm just gonna pause and use pacifying agent apparently. Oh holy fuck, man. Uh this is stressful. How the fuck are we supposed to fight this dude? What are these sword swipes? Oh no, he's immune. He's immune. He's immune to that thing. Oh good, Terra. Okay, it's only if I'm actually in the vicinity of that thing. Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use Shinobi tools anymore. Okay, as long as I Oh okay, thank fuck. Okay. As long as I get out of the way. How the fuck do I fight this thing? Oh, I need a heal. Shit. What in the world, dude? Wait a minute. I'm blocking and there's no posture. Wait a minute. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. <laughs> oh! Is this a damage only posture build up? Because I was blocking his strikes and it was doing shit. Nah, what the fuck? What the fuck? No wonder he survived having a whole ass sword in him before. Monkey's got second phase. No, oh, I'm losing my skill points. I was so close to getting, I was so close to having a third skill point too. Holy shit. Increases damage to you, damage your posture, or increases damage inflicted posture. We're gonna do that. We're gonna get Ascending Carp. Okay. <laughs> we got a Shinobi Execution, but we didn't get the memory because it's it was a, it's a fake out. Okay, so Pacifying Agent is what we need. So Firecracker is good to scare him in first phase. How the fuck are we supposed to deal with that second phase? He's just like... 
doing this with his sword, but when I block it, his posture doesn't get affected until I hit him. Holy crap. Me about to celebrate my cool ass victory from like decapitating this dude. Collecting all of those attacks did nothing, actually. Now that I think about it. Fuck. Um... It seems that. Yeah. Oh, hang on. No. Let me ride the monkey. <laughs> oh man. Okay. What are the what are the circumstances needed to uh, get onto his um, to grapple onto the sword of his, on his head? Okay, so it seems like what we need to do is he is more of a, um, he's more of a do damage to him to make his, uh, posture go up because I can't deflect him. I mean, I can deflect him, but it doesn't do anything to his posture meter, I think. Shit! Nice one, dude. Ooh! Death blow with the fucking firecrackers. Nice. Okay. Uh... <laughs> he is gonna get up, so... <laughs> what do we do about this? Like, what do we do about this? Firecracker no longer works. Mist Raven, I don't know. Uh, I don't think Sabamari is going to do anything either. I don't know if anything's going to do anything, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, how the fuck? All right, how did quick? Mortal Blade. Get the Mortal Blade, dude! Mortal Blade! Mortal Blade! He's undying! What the fuck? What? The, dude! What the fuck? I can't see. It's this this fight is making me go back to dodge instincts, man. This fight is making me go back to dodging instincts. It's it's totally fucked with me. How the fuck are you supposed to do this fight, dude? Just run for your fucking life, really. Oh, 
I missed the timing. I even missed the timing for the fucking. Uh, why did I try and do a Mist Raven? That was so stupid. What a waste. This is not the time for experimentation. This fight is bullshit. <laughs> what the fuck, man? I love that he's not scared of, like, the, uh, the firecrackers now, because, like, why would he be? Now he's the terror. Whoa! Oh, that was a waste. That was a waste of a heal. That was a waste of a heal. Nah. Fuck! <laughs> that that goes up so much. Do I have resistance to being... Do I have a resistance to terror... Item? Does anything give me a resistance to that build-up? Because that's insane. <sighs> Divine Grass. Rice. What about the... What's the Divine Kit... Confetti. That just allows us to drive away apparitions. First of all, that actually ain't gonna work, is it? Uh, it could throw oil at him and do the flame barrel. Interesting that the snap seed. Useful for breaking the effect of illusion techniques. Oh, you might have been able to use a snap seed in the. Folding screen monkeys fight. We just don't be in front of him then. Just don't be in front of him when he uses that ability, I guess. How many have I got? Oh, I've only got five left. Okay. Uh, once it gets to a point where we run out of pacifying agents, like, that's it. Uh, this first phase is okay. This first phase is okay. So you just have to, like, damage him, damage his health to prevent... Damage his health to prevent that posture build-up. Don't... Oh. Damage his health to prevent that posture build-up. farts on you and throws shit at you. <laughs> um, and then you'll eventually get the death blow. Because I don't think he's a deflecting boss. You can jump on him as well because he does have a sweep attack. Uh, that's... Yeah, no. If I die in first phase, that's a, that's a failure. <laughs> if I die in first phase, that's it. That's over. Uh, what I am going to do... Oh, nice. What I am going to do is I'm going to sit here <laughs> and think about the amount of pain that I'm about to endure because this second phase is ultimately so painful. I think he does this. That's okay. You can get out of the way. He does a lot of spinning around um, and then he does, like, the thing where he just screams, but as long as you're not in front of him or right up to him, I think you can avoid getting terrorized. It's just a matter of knowing when that attack is coming. And then I guess when he does a sweep attack, I need to jump and jump on top of his head where there is not a head anymore. I don't know. I'm going to take a break and we're going to... We'll try again. Okay. Time for another round. That monkey fight. Don't flail around wildly, sir. Ichimonji in the butthole, let's go.
still not entirely sure what the criteria is for... Still not entirely sure what the criteria is for um, being able to grapple. Oh, for fuck's sake. Uh, being able to grapple onto his sword head. Oh, you tricked me. Ah, oh, fuck off, man. No, I was... I was not meant to do that. Don't throw shit at me. That's rude. Don't... Oh, I've wasted so much of my health. We're just gonna... We're literally gonna get him his health bar out for the death blow instead. <laughs> we didn't even break his posture, we took his health all the way down, how ridiculous. <laughs> now, this is where the fun begins. Um, now I'm gonna pause because I'm so interested about this fight. So the firecracker, the firecracker is no longer work, so it, he's not a beast anymore, which is really strange. It doesn't classify as a beast. Um, I'm assuming uh, that this plays in quite nicely with us having the mortal blade. So I actually, I want to try this mortal draw, but it also costs spirit emblems. Uh, the blade slashes through enemies, leaving a reddish black noxious mist. Uh, so I'm thinking of doing that. Uh, I don't think ninjutsu is going to even come into place. So that's fine, but we can... I don't think we can poison him. Shoving a fucking loaded spear up his ass could be fun. I don't think spring load axe is going to do anything. Shuriken's just probably going to do, like, not much damage. Um, releasing a gust of wind, forcing enemies by the vortex to turn around. Maybe? Aside from certain strong enemies. Mm. Mist Raven could be good, but it's very situational. I haven't tried Flame Vent yet. We haven't even used the Loaded Umbrella before. Spread the Loaded Umbrella to guard from attacks in all directions. You can also move with the fan deployed, and it will continue to block lighter attacks as you move. We haven't used it before. So, protecting from all directions. I'm curious about that. We might... I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't be execution. Ha ha ha. Ten spirit emblems. Wow. As long as we stand back from that. Because that's like just an AoE. That's not even really an attack. That's like a scream, right? And that's, that's fucked. I mean, it does the symbol that it's like big, strong, scary attack, but... Ooh, that worked. Wow, that is awesome.
Dude! It... Dude! It blocks the fucking scream! Holy shit! Loaded Umbrella, best tool, what the fuck? So as long as you're not in the radius, that's cool, but... Holy fuck, if you get stuck in front of him... Looted Umbrella, dude. Oh, shit. That's insane. Oh, that's a sweep attack. Oh, you fucking idiot, man. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> ah! Okay. What the fuck? Oh god. Okay. Wow. So, I think the best thing to do... Best thing to do is just get his health down, and then that'll prevent his posture from coming back. That's awesome. We can only do that a certain amount of times though, however. Wow. Oh, you just blocked my... Uh... That's right, we still have resurrection. Dude, I cannot fucking believe the Umbrella does this shit. That's insane. Okay. <laughs> I cannot fucking believe. I cannot believe it. <laughs> that is incredible. Alright, we got three more blocks with that thing. Dude, we're making it. We're making it. Oh, no. Oh, no. No more heals, dude. I think it's going to be the same, dude, when we... It's going to be the same situation where we... It's where we're gonna block his health. We're gonna take his health out completely for the for the death blow. Oh no, I was pressing block, and I was in the middle of an attack. Mm, that was so close. Okay, we have a we have a good we have a good. Okay, we have a good, a good strategy, and the strategy involves... No! Ah, oh, the sculptors got sick again. You can get, they can get sick again. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I... Okay. Pacifying Agent is not so crucial now, but this is awesome. Um, I'm going to put model draw and I'll experiment with that, but we have the ability to completely block the scream. Looted Umbrella, I've been sleeping on that. I'm like, I was equipping it to see if I could block from his, um, like spin attack, but that was, <laughs> that was a happy... That was a happy, uh, discovery. You can continue to move. And then I just need to time it so I can start attacking as soon as he's still got an opening. And then I can do, like, the mortal draw combat art. Oh, the fact that we've only got 16, 
spirit emblem things because we haven't upgraded the thing that allows us to hold more. Alright, we can work with this. I just need to be good with my heals in first phase to then to then make the most of this. And then after we defeat this guy, that was not a good idea. After we defeat this guy, uh, we'll cure our dragon rot scenario. But also, there's a way to use, like, the environment here with, like, the trees. But then he does knock him down, so... But yeah, uh, this boss has definitely, uh, knocked it, like, uh, knocked me back into some previous tendencies. And that's because he's a huge beast type. You, my, my instinct is like, block those motherfuckers. Oh, idiot. Why did I do that? I'm all <laughs> no. No, why did I do that? Like I'm trying to throw the fight at this point. Come on, man. Oh, I don't even have the firecrackers on. Whoa! Holy shit! I did not mean to... Oh, I forgot I don't have Ichimonji on, and that's why... Oh, uh, I should have swapped the combat art. I should have swapped the combat art, maybe, during, uh second phase, so I can still do that. Oh well. Nice. Okay. Ah, oh, dude, I wasted, like, so many... Uh, I wasted so many spirit emblems by accident. Alright, I need to save it for this loaded umbrella. We have six heals, three pellets. Ooh, it's okay. I really wanted to use the that Mortal Blade combat art in second phase. Oh, he shrunk into the ground. Also, can we just make an observation on who the fuck is... Who the fuck is wielding a sword that big? Who's the who's the one responsible for shoving that in the the head of this guardian ape in the first place? By the way, whoa! I did not expect to get hit just then. Damn it, dude! Uh, I had a good start, like, my intentions were pure, but I fucked it. I really messed up here. That's right, I won't give up. No! <laughs> I accidentally used the, the, uh, I accidentally used the combat art, and he backed away from it, so it wasn't even worth using it in the end. Okay. No more, no more blocking the scream. No more blocking the scream. Alright, I need to have pacifying agents at the ready. Or just not be hanging out uh, in front of him. You can still use the... Wait! I can still use the combat art with no spirit emblems. How does that work? still use it. What? Maybe it's just not as effective? Or like slower or whatever? I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to block, but like I told you, I'm falling back into habits. I'm fighting against my giant enemy, just dodge it and I think we can still do this, even with shitty habits aside. 
This is insane. Chill, bud. No! Ooh, no! 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 Holy fuck! This is the one. This is the one, dude. He says as he as he goes face first. He says as he goes face first into that attack. Oh, we still got resurrection. We still have resurrection. Sweep attack, don't block that. Okay, okay, we're so close. Yes! Ooh, prepare to get fucking mortal bladed, bro! Let's go! Pull it out! What? Oh! Oh! He had a... He had a fucking... He had the... Oh, that's why! He had a bug in him. He was... Okay, so he was infected with the parasite. Holy fuck. The battle memory of an extraordinary foe lingering in the mind of the wolf. Commune with a sculptor's idol and confront memories, blah, blah, blah. The guardian ape was defeated, though its roar can still be heard. It is said that an infested body marks the undying. Slender finger. Dude, I was not expecting um, the... I don't know why I wasn't expecting it, but I wasn't expecting him to be fucking... Parasitic. Ah, oh, that's why... That makes so much more sense why he can survive without the head. Because he had a parasite fucking driving him. Holy crap. So that was the Guardian Ape. <laughs> I don't know if there was a better way to do that. Like, it honestly was like... It felt like the best way to do it was... You just need to take his health down because he's fucking crazy. Um, I'm gonna, I need to, don't sleep on the looted umbrella, holy shit. Even if I, I fucked it up in that round as well, like I, I felt like that was gonna be one of my worst attempts because I wasted doing the mortal blade attack in first phase um, when I was trying to save my emblems and then we ended up running out but fuck we got really close to failing when you get the terror meter like that close just like to edge you know just like edging <laughs> the slender finger of a young woman interesting can be fitted to the shinobi prosthetic to create a prosthetic tool Found in the belly of the guardian ape, it is partially digested. There is a shinobi technique called the finger whistle that can drive beasts wild. The one who used it before clearly used it for this purpose as evidenced by the finger's open hole. Oh wow, like... Huh. So, uh, the body disappeared. Confirmed dead. <laughs> Oh, wow. So, I guess, the, you know, the trees are more just like, you know, I guess making use of the environment to, like, dodge at the the attacks and stuff. But, um, I'm surprised about the the ability to grapple onto the, the sword, because it, it didn't really happen much. It didn't really happen much, uh, the opportunity to do that. Um, yeah. 
and then when you did do it, it was just a way to kind of close the gap, I guess. Um, very, very cool, but interesting fight. It, uh, in, in retrospect, though, like I was saying, like during the fight, it was definitely pushing me back into old habits because whenever you fight against a giant enemy, you're always like, you got to dodge those slam attacks. You got to dodge those attacks that it does. That is like bullshit attacks. <laughs> The battle memory of an extraordinary foe. They say that an infested body is the mark of the undying, but such a long life would surely be quite lonesome for even an ape. Perhaps the echoing roar of the guardian ape was in fact a solicitation of sorts. Attack power has been enhanced. And we will now do dragon rock restoration. You are healed, everybody. Dragon rot healed. Nice. Um, wow. I am just... We haven't done any of these yet. But I am... Whew, whew, I am just... So taken aback by that Guardian 8 fight. Um, you know what's really cool? Is being able to do a rematch for Genichiro. That's... that's especially that. <laughs> oh, that's cool. We'll check that out eventually. Oh man, okay. Breathe, focus up. Cause that was that was something else. That was something else. Guardian Apes watering hole. I I fucking love that he had a farting attack and throwing giant poop at you. That was good. That was good shit. <laughs> One of the best executions was that fucking grabbing onto the blade. Oh wow, hang on. Oh. That looks different. I don't remember the light being on that, the light source coming from that side. Let's talk to the sculptor, because I want to see these, uh, I want to see these upgrades for this umbrella, dude. Oh yeah, we've got a tool as well, we've got the thing So Do you know her? Oh, okay. Hell yeah, just what I want to be fi affixed to my prosthetic arm. The, like, decaying hand. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally even... Like, I'm coming back here anyway. And then I was like, oh yeah, right. I got a whistle. A prosthetic tool created by fitting a slender finger to the prosthetic. Its sound will grab an enemy's attention and draw them to the whistle's location. By locking onto a target, only the targeted enemy will hear the whistle. Oh, cool. The sound of the finger whistle enrages beasts, making them unable to distinguish friend from foe. Nice. Alright, I can see situations that that's going to be useful. So you can attract an enemy attention, or you can just completely enrage beasts and they'll attack their own... They'll attack anything around them. If no target is locked, all surrounding enemies will hear the sound. Fuck yeah. That's awesome. Uh, I want to see the upgrade for the umbrellas real quick. So we got a lilac umbrella. We got ooh mountain echo. A delayed sound after blowing. Ah. Oh. Loaded umbrella magnet. Got the magnetic mechanism when spread open it will protect against attacks from all directions. Hold it out. A magnetic shaft that makes it nearly unbreakable. As an enemy attack lands, I'm really deflect. While using shelter, light LB when an enemy attack lands, umbrella spin. Okay. Spin the umbrella to deflect enemy attacks. Um what's the difference though? What the blessings of the Phoenix fill the umbrella, preventing damage from apparition type enemies. Wow. Malcontent. Kingfisher is etched onto the ring. The Kingfisher's cry could be heard along the waterfront of Sunken Valley. Now, she cries no more. Golden Vortex. Suzaku's Lotus Umbrella. Prevents the build-up of burn status. Damn. Okay. Crazy. 
忍びを捨てたじゃがその忍び義手だけはどうにも捨てられぬその足が腕を失ったお前さんを拾うとは因果よな Okay, he's given us little bits. He's giving us little bits of dialogue as we progress. We have monkey boos as well.、Um, so I believe that we should be able to give that to either Ishin or Emma, I guess.、Um, let's travel to Kuro's room. And I'm going to see if.、Uh, I guess I'll see if、um, Tengu Ishin is hanging out in.、Um, His watchtower. Otherwise, we also haven't gone back to check out where he was when he was being Tengu、uh, by Gaobu's place, but also he has moved to the Dragon Shrine. He is there. There you go. Okay, so he'll, he'll always be here, I assume, as Ishin, but then we'll see him out in the wilds as, as Tengu.、Um, I'm just gonna. What's cool is you can definitely get seconds, I'm hoping thirds, of this alcohol to get dialogue out of other characters.、Uh, we're just going to do, we're just going to pick one character at a time and stick with it. So we'll give the monkey booze to Ishin as well. But I would love to get more to give it to Emma too. Oh, yeah. Shit. Yeah. Talking to him about the Mortal Blade. のの赤<笑>のう、セキロ。不思議理があれば、本来死なぬ者をも殺すことができる。まこと恐るべき刀じゃ。そうは思わぬか。何がおっしゃりたいその刀がお主の手中にある。何を切るか。よく見定めてから抜くことじゃ。Hmm. What's also interesting is I didn't see the Mortal Blade get pulled out. I didn't see the Mortal Blade、uh, get pulled out to kill the Guardian Ape. Like, he just pulled the Parasite out, which I thought wouldn't have been enough because when we've taken on the, the ones at Senpo Temple with the Parasite, we've still had to do the Mortal Blade Death Blow. So. I guess what we did to the Guardian Ape was like enough. Because I guess maybe you're able to. Potentially, you're able to go there and fight him without the Mortal Blade if you decide to go that path first instead of Senpo Valley, and maybe that's why. But I was fully expecting like a Mortal Blade related、uh, Shinobi execution in the second phase, so. Apparently, if you just eat the parasite out, it's done. Let's treat you to some monkey booze. Sakeo. Oh, Sekiro! Kigakikuno! I love how he says, I love how he says the name. So, this is what it's like to breathe fire. Hiofkuto a konokoto ya! Onushi. この酒の別の名を知っておるか知りません。知らぬかこいつはな、シュラ酒とも言う。シュラズワイン。昔、わしは、シュラを。いや、シュラのごときものを切ったことがある。それは一体。切り続けたものはやがてシュラとなる。何のために切っていたか。それすら忘れ、ただ切る喜びのみに心を囚われるのじゃ
お主の目にも修羅の影があるぞ、うん、せいぜいわしに切られぬよう肝に銘じろう Dude, what a threat! So, keep on mindlessly killing and you'll become a Shura. And he sees the, the, shadow,、uh, the shadow of Shura in our eyes, apparently. The eyes of a killer. <laughs> and then he's like, I'll kill you, mate. Like, don't test me. I will kill you. <laughs> Alright, l we've given him the monkey booze. Yes, he commented on the mortal blade. Has he got anything else? Fsingiri. Sina no mono o kiru katana ga onushi no shichu ni aru. Yoku misadame te kara nuku koto ja. So cool. Alright. So Ishin is chilling out, but Tengu will roam the world still in spots where、um, you'll find him. Okay, that's the same. Yukka, Okamio. Okamito, no. Okamito, on me, Kuro. Deva. Okay.、Uh, I'm just going to quickly check. Oops, didn't mean to rest. I'm just going to quickly check if. I guess we can test it. Let's go to the Great Serpent Shrine. Let's see if Tengu is there. Is he still there or has he moved now? Yeah, he's still here. <laughs> so, no secret techniques yet, apparently. Interesting. Alright, Sunken Valley. Guardian Apes Watering Hole. I'm just going to quickly take a peek. At what the Guardian Apes watering hole is.、Um, we'll just take a quick little look around because then it's the other way to get the fruit, apparently. And this was a mandatory boss. This was a Shinobi execution boss. So I'm assuming it's going to be something important following him,、uh, following this path. Something important. Lotus of the Palace, a white lotus flower found blooming in the depths of the sunken valley where the fountain headwaters pull deeply. The flower's aroma attracts female apes, thus, the guardian ape carefully tended to it so as to offer it to his bride. He just wanted to get married, dude. One of the incense ingredients. One of the incense ingredients sought by the divine heir for a mortal severance. Dude, no. I mean, he, he, had a, he had a giant centipede, like, sort of like controlling him. I don't, think, I don't think that's husband material, you know? Has worms. Not a husband material. Not good hygiene.、Uh, <laughs> he just wanted a wife. Ape wants a wife, dude. Far out. Someone get that ape a, a wife. Uh, that just reminds me of that stupid, uh, stupid、um, meme. Let me. Let, I need to do it word for word. Oh my god. Hang on. <laughs> oh, fuck. I just need to. Yeah. <laughs> Ride wife. Life good. Wife fight back. Kill wife. Wife gone. Think about wife. Regret. <laughs> He just wanted a wife, man. Oh, where'd you go? I got your flower. Where did Kuro go? Sir, I got you a flower. Are you in the library? You are in the library. He's just gone back. Oh, I guess that must mean he's just literally just cycles through different idle places to sit. Sir, I got you a flower. ミコ様、源の甲の花、手に入れました。おお、やはり落ち谷に咲いていたか。はい、落ち谷の奥に。そこが
源の水の流れが濃い場所だったということかよく手に入れてくれた狼をああそうだ私の方も調べが進んだぞ新たに必要な子が分かったそれは流院の巫女の地つまり私の血だ苦労様の血ですがそれは流れぬはずああ流院の巫女とはそうしたものだだが源一郎殿の居室でタケル様の故障の指揮を見つけてな何か血を流す術があるようなのじゃひとまずこれをそなたに渡しておこう Page's diary, an old diary entry written by Takaru's page. Lord Takaru held his arm over the incense burner and attempted to cut it with a sword, but incredibly his wound healed instantly and not a drop of blood was shed. Lady Tomo said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. What could she be referring to, I wonder? Okay, so. There is a way. Lady Tomo said, Without it, your blood cannot be spilled. Sate. 我が血を流す術いかに調べたものかエマ殿に聞くのはどうでしょうふむクスシならば人の体に明るいか確かにそなたの言う通りかもしれぬな Maybe we should go、uh, Maybe we should go to the、uh, to the doctors of Yarnum Maybe we could do a bit of blood ministration、um... Yeah, who knows? Seek. Seek dragon blood. Onushi ni tazne tai koto ga aru. Hai. Nan de shou ka? Miko sama no chi o nagasu sube da. Nani yue? Sore o moto meru no desu ka? Sen kyo ni ryu no namida o te ni ire. Fushi da chi o hatasu. So no tame ni wa. ミコ様の血がいるのだそうですか確かに流院のミコの血は尋常の方法では流れませんですがあなたはそれをなすすべをお持ちです不思議理科はいこちらをファーク No shit Immortal Severance Scrap, part of the book of Immortal Severance left behind by Takaru. With Mortal Blade in hand, my blood may be shed. With my blood, the aroma will be complete. The Divine Realm will be in reach. Immortal Severance will be at hand. I must ask Tomo to assist with the beheading. With the beheading. Not just like, oh, cut my finger with the blade, cut my head off. Does that mean we have to sacrifice? Kuro to get to the Divine Realm? What? Yeah, wound being the key word here. Not behead. On my way to tell this kid that I have to stab him. Hiya! Okami, Emma don't know you. Hanashiwa Kiketaka. Hoi. Hoi. Dojata. Nanika, Wakataka. Fushigiri Naraba. Kanauto. Soka. Fushigiri Naraba. Watashino Chio Nagas Kotoma. Kanau no dana. Hoi. Hoi. Yeah. We should wait. Sono toki de yoroshi kato. Um, so come de you nara so shio. Yeah, okay, we'll wait until it's the final step. Thank you, Nita Okamio. So we just need the, the stone and then the Sakura tree,、uh, like branch, I guess. Yukka, Okami. Wow. Okay. 
Uh, we got the flower. There's uh, one part of it down. Only had to take out a goddamn undying giant ape to do so. But we did so. And that is where we will bring this episode of Sekiro to a close. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for just being here to experience the absolute insanity of Sekiro. Because this is... This is such a fucking cool experience. It's so great. Um, so we've done some of the Sunken Valley, but it's not done yet because we have to go to the... Like, we're not done with the Serpent. We're not done with the Serpent, okay? We've still got that to do. So we have to go back down there to do the whole fruit thing. Oh, man. <laughs> and then... The Bottomless Hole and also... Um, the, the gun fort still, right? Like, I think that there's still more to the, to the gun fort, because we kind of ended up, we got to the gun fort, but then ended up somewhere else. I think there's still more of the gun fort. Well, so, you know, we'll, we'll figure, we'll figure that out. Uh, again, it's been, been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for watching. Next time... We will continue the search for these items for the Immortal Severance. And, uh, yeah. See what else, see what other surprises are in store. I'll see you then.